Hey folks, it's Will Taylor. Hi, I'm Will Taylor, and I just played for somebody so delightful who is standing at death's door. Played Beethoven string quartets, and I really want to capture my reflections of the experience. In some ways, we all don't know. I had this discussion with the woman at the end. She said that they had given her that she was probably going to be gone almost a month ago. She has pan pancreatic cancer. And here she is still walking around her apartment and having a great conversation with us, getting us drinks. And I, I mentioned her, I said, well, we all are uncertain about when that time is gonna come. And we don't have the knowledge of when it's going to be. And we have to live with that, all of us, in some way. And we could, we could be gone tomorrow. And it was really fun, or not fun, it was really interesting. It was a pleasure, it was an honor to have this discussion with somebody who seemed so at ease with being near the end, being at ease, being in a sense of just being present there for all of us and enjoying the music. We were playing these Beethoven string quartets and she was sitting literally within a couple feet in an armchair and we surrounded her with the string quartet and at one point I looked up at her and she winked at me like this, like <laughs> during the Beethoven. And I just thought, what a wonderful way to just be at peace with it all. And a lot of these swan songs that we do, sometimes the, the patients or the recipients of the music are not aware or not awake. But this woman, we walked in and she just wanted to have a conversation about music and what she did for a living and what we did for a living. And it was light, it was, um, it, wouldn't, it wasn't what you would think would be the atmosphere. So when you do these performances, it kind of shakes up your expectation of what it may be like to be with somebody who's at death's door. And I think for me, uh, it's been a very healthy and, and enriching experience to, to sort of have a conversation with myself about death. and. So I'm just, I'm just such, I'm honored to do this work and honored that Christine Albert has started this organization. I've been doing it with her on and off for about 10 years. This morning, I started with my own organization, Strings Attached Cares, which is stringsattachedcares.org, and we visited a, some Alzheimer's patients at a care center. And so I'm just, I, we did this about 15 minutes ago, and I want to just kind of let out all my thoughts from the experience. It was very relaxed. There was humor. There was she was closing her eyes and here we were experiencing this music that was written by somebody who has been gone a long time, Beethoven, Beethoven, and yet his art and his soul has been captured on paper in little black notes to help somebody at death's door centuries later. What about that? Isn't that an awesome concept? That we are able to, as artists, we're able to leave something of us behind, that there, therefore people after us who are alive can bring alive our spirit in the moment to help somebody who's at death's door, to help somebody enjoy their life all the way until the end, to help somebody, their quality of life. And what a beautiful thing that is. And, you know, I want to do more of these and I want to, you know, bring anybody on board that wants to help Strings Attached Cares get out there. If you know people that need this service, if you know folks in your family that would need swan songs, I want people to know that swan songs exist. All you have to do is make the call. And they pay musicians, professional musicians to come out. Imagine a string quartet, the beauty of string instruments. I mentioned to her, the lady, the sweet lady who's 89 years old, extremely lucid during the experience. I mentioned to her that when this music was written, the only way that people would hear music would be live music. There was no recorded music. So you might hear a symphony for the first time, and it would be the only time in your life that you would hear that Beethoven symphony. And that all music had to be played by human beings. And what a, what a great ritual that we could bring that ancient ritual of live acoustic music into a place where somebody's at death's door and where they're totally at peace with it, where she could be taken into the experience, into the moment, into the music, where we're all together. We entered 
as strangers and we left hugging each other as friends. And it never ceases to amaze me how live music and especially acoustic music can be a bridge for connection. Can bring strangers together and after the concert experience, how many of you experience this? You, it acts as a way of providing context for almost a, a friendship that develops over a period of minutes. And then everybody feels okay, like let's have a hug or let me put my hand on you. Let me, you know, make, make a physical gesture. And it's really interesting how that is so consistent in doing these outreach performances with Strings Attached Cares or with Swan Songs. So if you guys know anybody, if you want to share this video, if you have any experiences to share, it helps for the Facebook algorithm. If you share your experiences with people at Death's Door, those people that you know, and how music may have, may have impacted them, what has been your experience? Share that below, share the video, and let me know if you'd like to be involved in helping Strings Attached Cares, or just reach out to Swan Songs and make a donation. I'll have a little donation link here for Strings Attached Cares after I finish the video. And uh, I'm trying to kind of empty out my experience here. And the reason why I'm putting this up on Facebook is, is that we need more of this. Is there anything we need more of? We need more professional musicians going out and playing for people in need, for kids, for Alzheimer's patients, for people in care centers, for people that are on their last hours on earth. And not only are we helping them, but as with this kind of work, the gift that we get is immeasurable. The gift that we get to have a conversation about, that could be us on the other side being played to. My men's group leader, when I told him about this work, said, Will, I want you to play for me when I'm at that place. And a couple years later, I did. I went and played for him when he was kind of asleep and, you know, had cancer. And he reached out to me and woke up and said some things to me and then went back to sleep. So what other things? Let me think from this experience that I can kind of let out here. Anyway, I just want to impart with you, impart to you that the more we can do this work, the more we are enriched as human beings. The, the, the gift that I receive is immeasurable. The work these musicians receive that they get to do during the mornings and the daytime is, it's, it's great work for them to do, you know, when otherwise they might not be doing anything. So if you believe in this work, support it, become a patron of Strings Attached, become a patron of String of uh, Swan Songs, make a donation, come on board if you want to help me set these up, if you know places where I can visit. We, I have a lot of uh, a lot of resources, a lot. I know a lot of musicians who do this work so well, but we don't do it that much. So I want to do more of this. There's got to be more of a need out there, and you can help us. If you can't contribute, you can help us make the phone calls. You can help us find the places that we need to go to. Um, I'm headed out to New Mexico this week with Karen, and we'll be back on July 20th for our next Strings Attached show. If you'd like to be involved in this work, let me know. There's my after Swan Songs assessment, and uh, wishing all of you the best of times. Live your life in the moment, be present, and be there for others. Thanks a lot.